Exact release dates for three new NVIDIA RTX 40 series graphics cards have been confirmed. In this video, I'm diving into everything you need to know about these upcoming releases, covering their specifications, performance, pricing and release dates. But there's more to the story. I'll be thoroughly examining these cards to determine if they really live up to the hype. Let's dive in and explore the true capabilities of NVIDIA's latest offering. But first, CDKeyOffer.com has been my favorite trusted seller of affordable Windows 10 Pro OEM keys for over three years now. They're currently running a Christmas sale on all Microsoft software. Use discount code IVADIM to get 25% off and bring the Windows 10 Pro price down to just $16. Then securely check out with PayPal or another payment method. The key is delivered instantly, so you can activate it and upgrade to Windows 11 for free if you wish to do so. Microsoft Office 2019 and 2021 Pro are also on sale with a discount code IVADIM. Grab them now while the Christmas sale is on. At CS 2024 on January 8th, Nvidia plans to unveil three new graphics cards. The RTX 4080 Super, RTX 4070 Ti Super and RTX 4070 Super. These cards are designed to address some of the product positioning issues currently faced by the RTX 40 series. The actual launch of these cards will be staggered over the weeks following their reveal. It's important to note that this is leaked information, thus it is subject to change if Nvidia decides to do so. However, if everything goes according to the plan, then the RTX 40 Super Series will be subject to seven distinct embargoes as follows. All three cards will be announced on January 8th at 9am Pacific Time, which is 5pm in London, UK. RTX 4070 Super unboxings are permitted to go live at 2pm Pacific Time on the same day. That is 10 p.m. UK time. 4070 Super MSRP card reviews can be published on January 16th at 6 a.m. Pacific time or 2 p.m. in the UK. On the following day, January 17th at 6 a.m. Pacific time, that's 2 p.m. in the UK again. 4070 Super cards will hit the stores and reviews of non-MSRP models will be allowed. RTX 4070 Ti Super MSRP card reviews will be published on January 23rd at 6 a.m. Pacific time, that's 2 p.m. UK time. The actual launch in stores and reviews for non-MSRP models will follow the next day at the same hour. Finally, RTX 4080 Super MSRP card reviews will be available on January 30th at 6 a.m. Pacific time or 2 p.m. London time, depending on where you live. The cards will be in store the next day at the same time, with non-MSRP model reviews going live simultaneously. The RTX 4080 Super utilizes the full AD103 GPU, featuring 10,240 CUDA cores, 256-bit bus, 16GB of 24GB per second GDDR6X memory, and a 320W TDP. That is a minor improvement over the RTX 4080, whose primary issue remains its unreasonably high MSRP of $1200. According to industry sources, Nvidia aims to resolve this issue by launching the RTX 4080 Super with a $999 MSRP and a 6-9% better performance than the RTX 4080 to take AMD's RX 7900 XTX head-on. If we compare the two on the performance comparison chart, then indeed the 4080 Super looks like the better option. However, we should not forget that AMD's RX 7900 XTX has 24GB of memory and can be purchased for as low as $920 right now. Furthermore, AMD has an option to reduce its price further while still maintaining good profit margins. So, the 16GB RTX 4080 Super at $1000 is still nothing to get hyped about. Yes, it is better than the $1200 RTX 4080, but it is still too far from what I would call a decent deal. The bottom line is, anyone buying an RX 7900 XTX right now should not be worried. Enjoy gaming on it over the holiday season. But if you are thinking about buying an RTX 4080 for over $1100, then you may want to think twice. It's a ripoff. Next up is the RTX 4070 Ti Super. It utilizes a cut-down version of the AD103 GPU, featuring 8448 CUDA cores, 256-bit bus, 
16 GB of GDDR6 memory and a 285 Watt TDP. Nvidia is considering pricing this card between $799 and $849. The 4070 Ti Super should offer a 14 to 22% performance uplift over the regular 4070 Ti and is aimed at killing the RX 7900 XT sales. Considering that the original 4070 Ti MSRP was $799, the 4070 Ti Super at the same price would look good. There is little to no reason to wait for the RTX 4070 Ti Super. Just grab an RX 7900 XT and enjoy playing games for the next couple of months, while others are waiting for the 4070 Ti Super. However, if you have your sights on the 12GB 4070 Ti, then it may be worth your while to wait for the 16GB 4070 Ti Super, because that extra 4GB of memory will offer a better quality of life over the next few years, and will make it easier to resell when the time comes to upgrade. 12GB is barely enough in 2023. Future games will certainly demand much more. The last one on the agenda today is the RTX 4070 Super. It utilizes a cut-down version of the AD104 chip featuring 7168 CUDA cores, 192-bit bus, 12GB of 21GB per second GDDR6X memory, and a 220 watt TDP with a price between $600 and $650. This configuration allows the 4070 Super to perform extremely close to the 4070 Ti in games. To be precise, it will be 3 to 6% weaker than the 4070 Ti according to the latest leaks. The RTX 4070 Super might be the only upcoming graphics card out of the three worth waiting for if Nvidia prices it at $600 because essentially you'd be getting a 4070 Ti level of performance with a decent discount. However, if I were in the market for a graphics card right now, then I would just grab myself an RTX 4070 or RX 7800 XT for $550 and enjoy playing games over the holiday season, instead of waiting for the 4070 Super to launch, possibly priced at $650. In conclusion, don't expect Nvidia to bring any significant changes to their current GPU pricing strategy. They will only price the new products as low as the competition requires. The reasonable prices we've enjoyed in the past are unlikely to return until consumers collectively stop buying their current offerings en masse, signaling to these companies the need for change. This is especially important as AMD is following Nvidia's lead, and Intel has not yet produced any noteworthy GPUs. However, I'm still rooting for Intel to properly enter the competition in the coming years. This industry certainly needs a good shakeup. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, then give it a like and subscribe for more. Also, let me know what you think about the upcoming Nvidia Super Graphics cards in the comments below. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.